Hey everybody, it's Lauren from It's the Kellys and I am headed to Puerto Rico in a few days and so I thought I would pack my suitcase in front of you so that you guys can see what I bring on a weekend trip to the Caribbean. Everything is laid out here on my table. I do suggest doing this. Laying everything out really helps you make sure that you put everything on your packing list together and you crossed it off and you're ready to put it in your bag. Today I am going to be putting everything in one travel backpack. Yes, every single thing on this table is going in this eBags backpack. If you didn't see my review of this mother load backpack, go watch it after this video because you will want this bag. It's amazing how much stuff can fit in here. I am absolutely thrilled to take it on my first trip. I have had a different version of this bag for about eight years or so. I loved it. Brian actually stole it from me and he started using it. So I'm happy to finally have my own and in a cute new color too. Okay, so my first item that I'm going to show you is my medium packing cube full of clothes. This is going to take up about half of one side of that bag. And these are all my clothes just for when I actually land and spend time in Puerto Rico. I do have a couple of more things set aside. This is a set of pajamas that I'm going to wear every night, which is why they are set aside separately. And then also, I'm going to be going from Detroit to Chicago to meet up with my friend for a couple of days, and then we head to Puerto Rico together. So I do have an outfit set aside that I'm going to be wearing when I am in Chicago to meet up with her before we actually make the journey to Puerto Rico. I do not want to go into this bag at all while I'm in Chicago. This is just for Puerto Rico. So I'll show you guys how I'm going to pack that separately. And then this is my small packing cube that has bathing suits, undergarments, cover up for the bathing suits, that sort of thing. And then my other biggest item is my electronics bag. This is brand new and it's the first trip that I am bringing it on. I recently upgraded my electronics bag because my other one was pretty cheap and the zipper broke all the time. And electronics are important and expensive and you want to keep them safe. This actually has a lot of organization. This side you have a ton of space for different cords. These are all my camera batteries. I have computer charger, power bank, this little thing, everything. I like to keep my electronics safe and hopefully this is going to help. Moving on, I have my beloved base fanny pack that you can either wear like this or wear around your waist. You guys have probably seen it in a couple other of my travel videos. And what I like to use this for, obviously I could walk around the streets of Puerto Rico like this, but I use it for an airplane bag because my big backpack is gonna go up overhead and this is gonna be right here with me on the flight so that I don't need to get up overhead to get anything out of it. So in here I have a little word search, couple of pens, chapstick, stuff like that. And then this is something new that I'm also going to review eventually but have not gotten to use yet. It is an eye mask that goes around your eyes. Whoop! for the flight, but also has headphones in here and here that connects to your phone so that if you're anything like me and you need to sleep, you need sleep sounds or a really boring podcast, something that Brian would probably listen to, and you just wanna go to sleep. So I'm really excited to try this out. It's definitely bulkier than a normal face mask, but I don't want to wear my AirPods while I sleep in case they fall out and go around the plane and I can't find them and that would be horrible because I love my AirPods. My AirPods are also going to go in here as well. I do have this little hat for, you know, to keep the sun out of my eyes, that sort of thing. It's got a little airplane on it from Sheen. It was a dollar. I love Sheen. I still have masks that I'm going to bring. Believe me, I am so 
thrilled that masks are no longer mandatory in the US. I'm so excited to go on a flight and not have to wear a mask, especially an overnight one. But I'm still bringing some because you never know. Maybe you're sitting next to somebody that sounds like they're sick. Maybe you're going to go into some sort of business where your destination is and they're going to require a mask. Always still bring some just in case. The pandemic is not over. It's just getting better. So still bring them with you. This is just within the US. You're flying somewhere else to a different country. You need to check because they might still require them. Back to packing. I got these recently, which I love. It has a spot to hold two pairs of sunglasses. Even though I am a minimal packer, I do bring two pairs of sunglasses with me just because if one breaks or one falls in the ocean, it is very expensive to get new sunglasses when you're on vacation and they're not really always that cute. I'm a big sunglasses girl, but don't get those big, huge, stupid, gaudy things that hold all of your sunglasses in a hard case. That takes up about as much space as a packing cube. This holds two and it still is very nice and flat and doesn't take up that much space. I beg of you, don't buy all those stupid things. Of course, I have my liquids. I have my cadence containers that have shampoo and my face essentials. I do have a little package of intense hydrating conditioner, which I do like to use when I am swimming in the ocean or a pool. I have two little travel size things of sunscreen because I don't want to get a sunburn. Then I also have some eye drops, which I'm going to put in my plain bag. And then I have deodorant and my tinted moisturizer that I just got and I'm in love with from Laura Mercier. I absolutely recommend it. It also has an SPF 30 in it, which will protect my face. I also have my travel wallet, which inside holds my passport. It holds a pen. It holds all of my cash, which I always recommend bringing on a trip and all of my travel credit cards and my vaccine card, which I'm not sure if it's in here, but I need to remember to pack it. I also am bringing bug wipes with me. I haven't really researched whether or not I need them, but they do pack pretty small. These are wipes as opposed to spray because then they're not liquid and they don't have to fit in your one quart baggie. I also bring baby wipes with me everywhere I go. You never know when you're going to need them. You could be in a really sketchy bathroom and they might not have toilet paper or you just might need them. Also, Caribbean, and you might just sweat and wanna, you know. Uh. I do also have my teeny, teeny, tiny little bag of makeup essentials now that I have switched to my Subtle Beauty Makeup Stack. I did a review video of this. I loved it in my review. I am bringing it with me on this trip and I will let you guys know how it goes bringing it on vacation. In this bag, I also just have brushes and mascara and a lipstick and eyebrows, stuff like that. And then I also have this little essential bag. I packed it in this bag because I think it's really cute for Puerto Rico if I wanna double it as a purse. Um, but inside it has contacts, it has Q-tips, it has a comb, it has jewelry, it has... <sighs> when do you ever walk outside and you're so hot and you start fanning yourself? Yeah, I'm gonna bring this little dollar fan with me because it's gonna be hot. I can also probably put my makeup in that bag and it packs up so nice and tight. Speaking of other little bags, I am packing this. It actually becomes a nice big tote bag like this, which I think will be really nice to bring to the beach or to the pool. Da, 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 da. I am also bringing this little yellow clutch as a purse for when I go out at night. And then of course I do have my phone and my computer. I'm forced to bring my computer now because I vlog for you guys, but that's okay because I enjoy doing it. Now let's put it all in this bag. I'm going to set this base bag aside because this is not going into the luggage. 
and this is it. First, we are going to start with the biggest item, which is the medium packing cube, and it is going to fit right into the bottom of the bag. You always wanna put your heaviest item in the bottom, and we are going to secure it. Now, for the top, we are going to put in the small packing cube, and then I am going to put in this little bag right here and these little bags up top. It's all about packing Tetra so you can kind of see everything is in and has its own little designated spot. For this little mesh compartment is where I'm going to put those clothes to set aside like I said. So we're gonna have the pajamas, we're gonna have the extra outfit, and I'm going to put the hat in there as well. The mosquito wipes and the baby wipes. You can zip that up. My masks right here in the front. And then in this pocket, I am going to put my liquids and my electronics. This is big and it can still fit in the front. And I'm going to put my sunglasses. Actually, let me put them in the top of this bag right here where those can go. That's kind of perfect. And then make it even smaller. Can't reach it. Ugh. And then I did forget to mention in my e-bags packing video that there is a spot for my laptop. There it goes. This is what I am bringing to Puerto Rico with me. And now I'm ready to go. All right, guys, I don't know how much vlogging I'm going to be doing there, but I do highly suggest Puerto Rico. I think it is an absolutely amazing place to go. And it's gonna be a really nice girls only getaway. All right, I will talk to you guys next time. Thank you so much. If you have any questions about what I packed or anything like that, drop them in the comments below. I hope you're subscribed to this channel. Like I said, here we travel often and we pack well and we wanna help you guys do the same. We will see you guys later. Thanks so much for watching.